Let's go. No nebula. We don't want distress beacons, we have nothing. Twenty two is pretty good. We want thirty five for the missile. Can you somehow hit both weapons and engines? I don't think so. If they don't repair, I'm killing them. Ooh. What are those weapons? I mean, the screw. It's multiple engines, I think. I'm allowed to switch to... I can still lose weapons before I fire. Okay, good. One off though. Really? Okay, this should be an easy fight. They roll two defensive drones. Like for this challenge, we are playing as Zoltan a, a pretty much the same as usual. But the engine limitation can could be pretty bad for the late mid game. It will be very hard to run away from fights. And I mean, yeah, especially flagship fight could be very bad. I don't think I'll need to fire my missile. Go there for oxygen. It also depends a lot on the final weapon setup. Uh, we want to keep 80 for hacking now. The reason? The reason is I'm not doing this with any other ship and I didn't know what to do with Zoltan A. So that, that's the reason really. And I think this is a decent ship for the maximum engines one. Like if we hit this is good because now we are removing weapons. Maybe I can even do it this way. Okay, okay. Hey, number. Beam drone. Hmm. 
Don't you fucking dare. Okay, you can have that. Okay. We can already afford hacking. Let's see if we can find it. Nothing that I want here. I can check one more beacon, then store, then here. I don't know if I have three. So I'm not risking. Ooh, a burst too though. That works. I mean, it's not ideal, but it works. What about the beam too? No, I need to scrap too much right now. Uh, really? Dealing this one damage to Zoltan's shield is very important. Yeah, because of that. Nah. I don't need those missiles. I want more scrap. Like, I don't need more missiles, I don't need the drone parts right now, there was no fuel and scrap was very low. So next is uh, power, then we work towards shields too. NG Uncharted. Double Uncharted will suck a lot. We go down to the NG sector. Uh, come on. To be like my work left of the sun precedes the visual by two seconds. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. Almost as bad as missing the zacking. That's okay. So we already have seen three stores, so we're not getting stores this sector. I mean, not, not anymore. Mm, how bad is this fight? It is pretty bad. How the fuck? I thought I did... Oh, because I went here, then he put power back into the weapon. Fuck you. Can't risk. Doesn't matter if I go up or down. I should have more beacons going down. Two shields and clocking. Oh. 
Mm, no mantis, only engines. Then I can't. If they had mantis, I will go for a bio kill. Also, I really have to remember not to upgrade my engines. It's easy to forget. Wait, port store? Alright, oh, the first one was from uh, the um, reward. Forgot. Run into a lot of bad luck near the end, resulting ships. I mean, I don't know. What's the issue exactly? Can I ever reach 80? If I take the risk here, maybe. Nah, how much will I need? I still need 37. 27. There is, it's impossible to get 27. Even if I, if, even if I succeed the 50-50, it will probably be like 7 to 10 scrap. And I mean, unless I take another beacon and backtrack, you know what, I'll risk this. Never lucky. This is 17, 50, 60, 70, 10 scrap, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need 10 scrap here. This game sucks. Please, easy. I don't want to go for shield buffer immediately in case uh, early store next sector. I might regret it here though. Beam 2, heavy missile. Fuck. That's fine. Angie again. I'm keeping my scrub. No spooders. I'm taking distress beacons because I have the, uh, this engine now. Uh. That's very, very good. Sending my engine should be better than venting. I mean, for sure. Venting door is very hard. Airlocks are very far away. Okay, we have 80.
I will do this. And then I'll try to go back to AT before I get another store. Okay, that's good. Go to fight, nice. Will I be able to get a full evasion training by the end of the run? I cannot stop for training. It's considered cheating for this challenge. I mean, yes. Do you have it? You do. Another Zoltan. Okay. We have an NG for this, maybe. Or that, sure, that's fine. One, two, three. Weapons? I don't know, I have slow weapons. I mean, probably I will. But I'm not so sure. That was awful. Get this level too. Let's see if we get anything good here. Not bad. Get a power bar. Here normally I would upgrade my engines. But I can't. I can even steal power from hacking after I use it. Rock. Ah, uh, we have the missiles. Yeah, that's also one of the reasons why I like keeping this missile. In case we end up here. Store. Not even connected to anything. Um, I don't really need a power bar for now. Let's keep the scrap. Maybe we'll get enough for clocking. Before I reach the second store. Actually, you know what? I don't really have to steal the power. Yeah, it's problematic to steal that power. I guess it's mostly depend on the timing. And that was not a good timing to steal the power. 
is this ship scary? Um, it shouldn't be. One more. Okay, this is scary. Very, very fucking scary. Anti room plus uh, doors and hacking on pilot things, so it was fine. If they hacked hacking or weapons, it would have been very bad. And if the shots ended up uh, into another room, it would have been very bad. So th this is one of those fights where you either don't take any damage or this fight c can kill you. No spooders. Uh, okay, what can we? So, so this is one thirty-five. Okay, we can already afford clocking, but let's see if I can do it without selling the missile. Shields. Uh, shield it depends because shields are going down very quickly anyway. It's. It's mostly if the ac weapons are hacking and um, what they are hitting with their shot. So sure, uh, shield duck will increase the odds of losing uh, stuff that you need, but it's it's like on average, you you it doesn't matter too much. That's six fuel. I'm taking it because I'm wasting scrap for fuel anyway. As soon as I reach a store, so this is the last store, and this is five. Maybe this is a distress beacon. Weapon is the worst for sure. Yes. Jesus Christ, this ship. This is a weapon, Zack. We're fine. Did you buy burst visit? Yes. We bought it in sector 1. We were looking for Aki and dead burst too. Like with the ship you usually um, uh, upgrade for your uh, missile, so it's 35 scrap. Then you keep um, around 80 and you look for stores. And you're looking, uh, you're looking for hacking, you're looking for burst 2, you're looking for flock, you're looking for uh, burst laser 1, whole laser 1, whatever you get first. Like anything that helps with the shield removal essentially. Uh, 
Hacking is the most, the more common one. So usually you you're looking for that. But uh, all weapons are fine as well, as long as they're good for shield removal. Maybe I shouldn't have hacked this ship. I don't know. Any cloakers? No cloakers. Flak 2. Flak 2 Halber Beam is not too bad. But we already have burst too. And hacking. So, battery. And repairs. Keep scrap for next sector. But there is weird with no engines. I just realized. Because using battery to power up stuff like hacking, it's not ideal. Because, okay, what's the problem of um, of using battery for uh, systems like hacking and, and such? It's because, um, um, like, if you're using hacking, you can take damage into hacking to stop the hacking, or get hacking into hacking to stop the hacking. But if you're using the battery to power it, then even hacking on battery and damage on battery can stop it. So you're increasing your odds of losing that system. That's why usually you don't want to put the emergency power in there. And it doesn't matter too much if you have it in engines, because I mean, sure, you're losing some evasion, but it's not a big deal. And kind of the same things with weapons. I didn't play FTL no pause a few days ago and he died in phase 3 because he used battery power for hacking. Yeah, it's a it's a big risk because um like you're increasing the odds of getting fucked. Because in a way it seems more efficient because like you use the temporary power for the hacking, so you you're not keeping normal power in there that then you can move somewhere else. But in the end you're increasing the odds of something shitty happening. Like there are certain spots where you can be perfectly fine. Like for example, let's assume you have 100% evasion with clocking. And you, you're using the battery power when you are 100% sure that nothing can happen anyway. Then it's technically fine and even better to use the battery power for the, those systems. But outside of uh, being, outside of that, it's it's a big risk. I mean, I, I still want to buy the system just to increase the odds the likelihood of finding high clocking but the system itself i don't know if you can really i mean outside of going into ion storms and such I, I don't know if i'll if we end up uh, we'll end up using the system single item battery with two bars of hacking yes that's why you you don't want to use it unless you're pretty much sure that you're not uh, not taking damage Rock onward. No. Let's see. Better sector, more options. For the next one. Ooh, that's a big nebula. Are we going through? Yes. Get this and a power bar. So we go to 9. Mm, missing this area though. It's a backtrack area though. Ah, oh, fuck it. We skip that, that area. Maybe for drones? Yes, that's, that's actually good. Battery for drones is perfectly fine. Like, I was considering firing shots into shields because they have three, so it will be hard to deal to kill them. But there is the problem of um, I want to disable both weapons so they're not boarding at all. Hmm. 
I was thinking that um, like you can deal five damage like this. So even if I hit two out of three, I could kill. But they're getting the shields back in time. I don't think. Uh, I think that piloting upgrade was worth it. No systems. Check this one. Okay, good. You bastard. Reigniter. I mean, I'd rather have more beams than the burst lasers, honestly. Well, we're looking for clocking. There we go. Pike. I will buy this if it wasn't for the burst to... Do I buy it anyway? I mean, why not, right? If I'm making shields anyway, it's just better than burst to... And uh, having uh, the one shot is, well, better, especially since our evasion will be very bad. Yeah, I don't see why not. We sell Burst 2, we sell Defense 1, we buy Pike. Then we work towards uh, Weapons 7 and Hacking 3. I mean, I can trick and wait because we have one burst laser. So even if we find a three shielded ship, sure, we'll remove one shield with uh, one of the burst laser shots. But the pike is happening. Because if I find another pike or a hull beam, then I have a one shot. We don't need two bursts. I'm not playing defense drone. Um So this is 165. Yeah, well, let's wait. Sure. There could be a third store in the sector.
We're clocking now, but obviously it's not super reliable. For obvious reasons. This crop. Sensors. Is it two guys? Just two guys? I can't really vent. So this was the poor borders, right? So Ion Storm wise, there is still the... Yeah, but we are not going there, too bad. How bad is this? It's fine. I mean, it, it, it can be awful. But let's pretend this is fine. Yeah, one damage, it's okay. Was that avoidable? I mean, fully weapon train would have been avoidable. Outside of that, firing my burst to a bit earlier, maybe. Oh, really? This kind of sucks. Dr. Jones? Nope, Dr. Jones is dead. Five more scrap and I can get the pike online. No drones, this will be fine. Burst 2, chain laser, hold beam. We clock the burst 2. Very low in fuel, even if I bought a... I think I bought four, that previous store. Hmm. Mantis are abandoned. Get the pike online. This just beacon could be fuel request. Which is okay. Your request is not quite ideal at the moment. Other stores.
Uh, I almost fucked up just to get that chick as wife. Fine. Keep some scrap for a store. We want fuel, maybe repairs, maybe a beam. I was considering not Akin just because I have, uh, they have only two shields. But I also have many drone parts. So why not? Okay, store. One, two, three, four, okay. Two beacons, then store. Hey, Buffyar. Can't run away before the solar flares. You see weapon setup? It can be better. Where do you get the burst laser too? I bought one sector one, then we found the second one in sector four or five but I sold the second one and I'll sell this one as well if I get another beam two shields okay we have weapons Alright, I can drop shields, I have two Zoltans in there. Oh, do I want that as well? Yes. It could be for fuel request. Or 50 scrap. What about F buying FTL recharge on this challenge? Sure, if you want it. But, but why, right? Like, I don't think you, it's worth it anyway, even early early, early game. Because early game you still want to upgrade your weapons, uh, keep scrap for hacking, and once you have the weapons and hacking, then you don't care anyway. Um, is it drone control? So the moment I have six uh, Zoltan shield removal guaranteed with the beams and potential three. So we are um, technically nine, but let's say seven, eight. So I can add a combat drone on top for a Zoltan shield removal. Like, even when you play Zoltan A normally, you're not upgrading uh, engines early. Like, you still want to go weapons 4 for the missile first, 
and then you want to keep 80 scrap for either hacking or weapons. And if you get weapons, you want weapons 5 usually. So it's even more scrap going in there. Then you want shields, and then you can think about engines. So it's be it, it takes a while before you're actually upgrading engines. This is like a normal uh, Zoltan A run. I mean, I bought a burst laser to sector 1. Every run is fine if you buy a burst to sector 1. It has nothing to do with the challenge itself. I have an entire sector 7 to far. So what do we need? Shields, blocking, hacking. My scrap is low. This is a low scrap run. Like, it's not awful, because we have everything we want. It's just that I'm... I, I'm kind of behind with upgrades. So I don't know if I can support the drones this run. Because, okay, I need... Um, one hundred... One fifty... 10 uh, 60 so the noise it's about 400 scrap and then the drone control will be... ...85. Just 85. Ah, uh, it's, it's fine. I think we, we can, uh, we can get it. But I'm still keeping in case of um keeping some scrap in case of a third beam. The plan is to stand and fight. To last to stand and fight, yes. That's the plan. Nice, got a fight. What if I don't hack this ship? The ship seems pretty weak. I can uh, preserve one drone part, maybe. Maybe. That's an ion weapon. Will I regret my decision? Apparently. What the fuck? And your Mantis. Uh, I mean, Mantis has to be a bit better. I'll, I'll upgrade for the missile if I get enough scrap, but if I don't, then it's not worth it. Because it's a minor upgrade. And I still need a... like upgrading clocking and upgrading shields is better, so I'll see if I have the scrap for the... for the missile. 
Like even just, just 85 for the drone control, it's better than using 100 for the missile. I have a very bad feeling about this sector. Even before getting this beacon, my feeling was bad. Are they actually destroying it? Really? Venting this immediately is not enough to send them out of there. Unbelievable. No, not ideal, but it's fine. Ah, oh, no double reward. Oh, it was still good. This could be a store. Reactor, we got the worst outcome. That could have been a fight, ice scrap, a reactor, or the store. Go for the cheeky here. Fifty here, here, here. That was almost right in front of it. This could be fuel request, I have no fuel. I could go here first. Maybe I'll get a lot of fuel. So what do I need? Shields? Power. I have battery for the combat drone. Do I want more drum parts? Mm, we should be fine. But we can get repair stations. What about firebomb for phase one? I don't know though. I don't know if I can delay enough um, for the bio kill with engines one. But phase 3 can be very bad. I 
I don't know. We will try like this. So as long as it's not fuel for fuel request. Well, I mean, do is it good enough? Ah, oh, fuck it, let's do it. 68 scrap. Surely they will give me one fuel. Right? Really? So I might double dive with one engine because of this. That's not ideal. If I get fuel here, it's only one dive, which... I mean, can be fine. We can tank one ASB and still be fine as well. Close. When you're the same if it's ASB. It's mostly the fact that I less evasion for well avoiding the ASB. I don't know, maybe we get a store sector eight. Oxy two is fine though. I think it's faster to kill them. A Vulcan or no? The odds of getting a store are forty two per cent. Mm, I don't know what they boarded. They boarded space. Good luck. There I can take a 5 damage for no reason. So last two options for a store. Low scrap reward. Annoying. Oh, we can fully train weapons here. That's nice.
Uh, let's wait for this guy. They teleported and managed to drop the crew off to a nearby moon safely. So they will starve there. Too bad. No stores. I mean, it was kind of expected. So what we do? Buffer point. Or do we try to get shields for? Actually, we try to get shields for. Hmm, actually, do we? Uh, get a buffer. Let's get buffers everywhere. So, phase one. Brick lock because we have Zoltan shields, drop the combat drone, stop it there. What are we swiping? Swipe like this, swipe like this, swipe like this, swipe like this. One off. No, no, they don't have evasion. Look at that missile value. Easy. Our chance? Yes. Uh, phase 2 will be mostly the same, but I cannot pre clock. Well, here the flagship with only the later. Uh, you need more. I need what? 20 plus 22 plus 20. And then the Zoltan Shields, which is plus 12. And uh, he gets back before you can actually deal damage. Yes, yeah, so you can kill phase 3. And that's also assuming zero misses, which is unrealistic, and also not taking into account the combat, the defense drone phase two. I can't get this or this. Buy power in case I lose my Zoltans. Phase three can actually be scary. Um, do I be like that? Burst everything into weapons. I mean, the missile is just useless, I guess. Badron with Akin to get the missile through. Oh, but why? I'm slowing down my hacking for my uh, other weapons. To deal one damage if I don't miss. Hmm. I 
Am I still pre-clocking at the start of the fight? Because my Zelto Shields is going down very quickly and the sooner they board, the shittier it is. Let's see how many laser shots I, I'm clocking, then I might. How long will it take to actually fully charge my FTL? Oh god, this is gonna be sh so bad. A minute? That's a lot. That's, that's actually good. It means I don't have to... That, that was very, very good. I don't care. The, the, the combat drone tank tanking the shot helped a lot. Okay, it was a low scrap. Most of the sectors in the mid game was were bad. Scrap wise, sector one was good. Sector two was bad. Most of the mid game sectors were low scrap, and um, sector seven was good, I guess. <laughs> 